everyone and welcome back to my channel turnips to tangerines and today we are going to be making cherry cheesecake bars and we are going to be making the bars with a base and then a cream cheese filling and we're going to be putting in our cream cheese filling we're going to be using our paradise holiday fruit and this is um, the cherries again and uh, we're going to be adding that to our cream cheese layer and we're going to be baking them up so if you want to see how that gets done here and if you want to learn how to make these scrumptious cherry cheesecake bars stick around Welcome back. Today we are going to make, like I said, our cherry cheesecake bars. And the first thing we have to do is we have to put in one and a half cups of flour into our food processor. And this is a half a cup. Whoop. Oh, half a cup. And another half a cup. And another half a cup. Makes one and a half cups. I couldn't find my one my cup thing so I'm just doing it this way. One and a half cups of flour which is fine. And then we are going to use a one third or one third cup of packed brown sugar. So I just kind of mush that up there a little bit. Hold it up and pack it down. One third cup of packed brown sugar put that in there and then we are going to need one cup or one stick of cold butter and that's what I have here I'm going to take off the wrapper and set this aside over there and I'm just going to take my butter here and put it in two little cubes there and that is a half or a half a cup of cold butter or one stick of butter and we are going to try to get our top on here somehow or another which is usually for me the hardest thing to do I need these covers on and then we are just going to um, pulse this until the brown sugar and the butter and the flour become crumbly. There. That looks pretty good, I think. Give a peek. Oh, here, let me... Yeah, make sure because you want to be able to press it into your pan and save some for the top. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's just stir it around here a little bit. There we go. And that took one second to make or to throw together. And we are going to grab our our pan that I've already an eight by eight pan that I've already lightly greased with just some Crisco and I put in a piece of parchment paper and then lightly grease the top of that also. So I'm just going to push you up here a little closer. Take off our little flowers here and we are going to reserve a half a cup of the topping here. I might as well just do it this way. For the topping, we're going to use reserve a half a cup of the crumb mixture for the topping. The rest we're going to throw in our pan here. And, whoop, come on. There. And we are going to just lightly pat it down into here as best we can. There we go. It's nice and get in there and make a nice crust. And then we're going to bake this. 350 degrees for roughly 15 minutes. So let's get 
that pressed in here nice. And then when we get back, we will take it out of the oven. There we go. Take it out of the oven. Let it cool slightly. And while we're letting it cool, I will make my cream cheese filling. So, let's get this done here. Nice and padded in the pan. Kind of get it all organized in there so it looks nice. And there we go. And we're going to pop that into our 350 degree oven for approximately 15 minutes. And then we will be back to make our cream cheese topping. Or, or I should say our cream cheese layer. Okay, we have our crust out of the oven. And our crust was uh, flour, butter, and brown sugar. And I just took it out, so we're going to let it cool for a little bit while I make our cheesecake filling. In the bowl here, I have one cup or eight ounces of softened cream cheese. I'm just going to start a little quick here just to get it going. And to that, I am going to add the, um, whoop, excuse me, okay, to that I'm going to add, ah, uh, what am I going to add here, what am I doing, half a cup of sugar, okay, wow, well, buddy, half a cup of sugar, and that's here, I guess I forgot I had to add that, okay, that's okay, sugar and we are going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract here's one two whoa two little extra number hurts and we are going to use a tablespoon of lemon juice. Well, well, okay. There we go. And we're going to mix that together. Oh, that I spilled half of it on the cover. That's okay. scrape down the sides of my bowl here and I'm going to put this underneath here so it doesn't make quite as much noise as it's rattling around and to that I'm going to add one egg also and here we go nothing better than a little cream cheese filling new 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 Okay, I'll put that right there. Add this up. Lift it up good. That's light and fluffy. And that shouldn't take too long. There. no time at all to whip together as you can see that's and I'm going to take about two-thirds cup of um, the cherries the paradise fruit cherries and I quartered them just to make them a little bit more friendly on the old teeth I'm going to stir that up 
and that's what they look like the paradise holiday fruit the cherries and um, these are red cherries and you can also buy the green cherries and you might even be able to buy like a combination red and green mix I've seen that too and um, they sent me those and that's fine with me and here is our crust and I am just going to we'll put that right here and I'm going to pour my filling now onto the crust it is still warm but that's okay I'm gonna throw that on here and like I said this is a very easy throw together recipe you don't need a whole lot of you know anything to make it crust on the bottom it almost turns into like a shortbread crust and it's really yummy and then we're just going to spread that around. Ooh, those look good already, don't they? Yum. Look good to me. And then, here, I'm using my finger. Why not? There. There we go. Let's get that in there. Ooh, yum. These can be made any time of year. You can, these would be really nice to make for Valentine's Day or somebody's birthday if they, you know they love cherries. Oh, and that's got a really nice cheesecake filling. Has a really nice lemony taste from the lemon juice. So it really, really has a nice flavor to it. I know my dogs are winning. And here is a half a cup of the crumb topping that we set aside. Uh, we, we mix together in the food processor one and a half cups of flour, a uh, half a cup of brown, oh, a third cup of firmly packed brown sugar, and then we added a cup of butter, which is, well, a half a cup of butter. Wait a minute, I'm going to have to redo this all over. Okay, this is our crumb topping that we made before, and our that also was our crust which was one and a half cups of flour, a third cup of firmly packed brown sugar, and a half a cup of cold butter that we put in our um, food processor and processed it up. And then we baked, we kept out a half a cup for the crumb topping here. And the other um, part of it, we just lightly pressed into this pan here. We baked it for 15 minutes at 350. So here it is. And there we go. There was our crumb topping. I'm just going to give it a little shake here around. And we are going to put this in our oven at 325 degrees. So we bake the crust at 350. Turn your heat down to 325. And then you're going to cook, bake this for 20 to 30 minutes. And you're going to have to kind of keep an eye on it. So, here we go. I'm going to go put this in the oven, and in 30 minutes, we're going to be taking these out. See you then. Our cherry cheesecake bars are out of the oven, and they're just cooling. They're just, uh, I'd say, lukewarm to touch here. So, I'm going to just give one, give a little cut here and see how they are. And I'm just going to show you what they look like. The crumb topping, and it had the shortbread crust on the bottom and then the crumb topping and cherries and cheesecake filling so i'm just going to take a cut here of a, a corner Ooh. cherries cut right into the cherries right away let's see how these turn out oh yum they look good look at that Okay, right, here they go. So what they look like, they're still warm, so they're not totally cooled off yet, but they look good. It's the inside, it's a cream cheese filling in the middle there, and um, with the cherries, and I'm going to take a bite here. Looks good. Mmm. Oh. Oh, those are good. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice, nice flavor. Uh, if you like, like shortbread at all, anything with a shortbread crust, 
or anything like that, you're going to love this. These are really good. Yeah. And like I said, they're still warm. The shortbread crust is really nice, and that's the filling. Mmm. Oh, really, really good. Really good. I wasn't sure. Because, you know, basically when there's so few um, of ingredients, sometimes you don't think something's going to taste that good. But these are really, really good. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Shortbread crust, which I love. Almost like a sugar cookie tasting. Um, and then the cheesecake, or the cream cheese layer, cheesecake layer. And then with the cherries. This would be very, very, very good. Made just like this, and with coconut in it. For some reason, this, when I took a bite of this, I, for some reason, I just thought of coconut. Mmm. Very good. Yep. Mm-mm. Um, excuse me, I'm just eating away here. Um, this is made with the um, paradise fruit from the cherries. And I just chopped up an 8 ounce. Um, I don't even think I used a whole box or a whole package. Maybe I did. There's a lot of cherries in here, but that's okay. And that's it. And then, a, you know, flour, brown sugar, cheese or uh, cream cheese, and your egg, sugar. And I'm telling you, these are good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. So it looks like you can see. Mmm. So you wanna start your holiday baking early. I suggest you start with this 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 recipe. And I just made it a different recipe too with um um brownie mix and cherries and that was excellent also. So, I hope you give this recipe a try, because it sure is good. You're going to love it. See you next time, here on Turnips to Tangerines. Bye-bye now, everybody.